Little Miss Muffet sat on her tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Welcome to Weird Science. Line a colander with two layers of paper towel and set it over a medium-sized bowl. In my case, I couldn't find a medium-sized bowl that would fit perfectly, that was enough depth so that the straining could happen. So I lined it up with two shish kebab skewers and had it kind of resting on top. That way there was a little space beneath for the draining to happen. Along with this, you can get started by measuring out two cups of whole milk. Add the milk to a saucepan and heat the milk over low heat. Now, one thing I need to tell you is with a cooking thermometer or perhaps until the milk starts to look like it's starting to simmer, you can remove it to the heat. Well, let me tell you, this was a long process. Even with my cooking thermometer and patience, it took a long time. You do need to continue stirring and stirring. And again, patience is a virtue. Well, what is the science between this curds and whey? Well, milk is made up of water, sugar, and proteins, cashin and whey proteins, fats and minerals, and they're all together in a mixture called a collid. A collid is a mixture that will settle out over time, like water and sandwood, and can't be separated by normal filtering. Oh, did I mention I'm still slowly heating the milk? Well, let's continue. Normally the protein molecules repel each other, but if the pH in their solution drops, the cashian proteins suddenly attract to each other and cause them to clump together and form a new substance called curds in the process called curdling. The liquid that is left over is called the whey. So we haven't talked about how we're gonna change the pH level in this milk, but again, we're just heating the milk patiently and slowly on low heat. <sighs> well, we're almost there. 151 sun, uh, degrees Fahrenheit. We want it to be up to 175 degrees Fahrenheit. And again, if you don't have the thermometer, that's okay. <gasps> What's this? 175 degrees Fahrenheit. We did it. We did it. Now, take it off the heat and put it to the side. You'll then add salt that little quarter teaspoon of salt, and you'll also add in two tablespoons of vinegar. Did I mention about the pH being changed? You're gonna stir gently for just five seconds. You can already see it starting to curdle. <gasps> wow, look at that, we did it. Curds and whey. I used the slotted spoon and I took the kind of more solid liquids uh, and separated it from the liquid and put it in the strainer to drain. You'll notice that the liquid kind of looks a yellowish liquidy and that's the whey part. Again, just continue very patiently scooping out with your slotted spoon any of the solids and put them in your strainer to drain. It doesn't take very long to kind of separate and you'll see it kind of looks like a ricotta cheese consistency. Check out that way. We did it, friends. And if you don't like the taste of it, just add a little honey. We did it. Hi, little Miss Muffet, who sat on her tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider and sat down beside her. <gasps> it scared little Miss Muffet away. Hey, spider, that's for me. Enjoy, friends. As we wrap up this week's Weird Science, Little Miss Muffet Curds and Whey is the inspiration behind today's experiment. You can check out some other Mother Goose nursery rhymes at the Manliest Library. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. You read to me and I'll read to you. And also a collection of Mother Goose stories. You can get these books and more at the Manliest Library.